Okay, Keith, so now what I'm going to do is do a quick examination of your abdomen. Is that okay? Okay, are you in any pain at the moment? Not at the moment. No, okay. Can I start by looking at your hands, please? Yes. Pop them straight out for me. Excellent. Just looking for any signs in the nails. Your nails aren't all clubbing, which there aren't. Turn your hands over for me. There's no palmar erythema in the hands. I feel the pulse. Nice and regular, 60 beats per minute. Good. Just pop your glasses off for a second. I'm just going to look in your eyes, okay? Look straight up for me. And there's no pallor in the eyes or any jaundice. You can pop your glasses back on again now for me. And open your mouth and stick your tongue out. Excellent, okay. There's no ulcers in the mouth, there's no glossitis or angular stomatitis. Perfect, you can close your mouth for me. I'm going to feel the, the glands in your neck now. All right. A bit uncomfortable, sorry. You can't feel any lymphadenopathy in the neck, in the preauricular or posterior areas, or the posterior cervical chain. And there's no Virchow's node, or any supraimplaclavicular nodes. Good. Now looking down at your tummy, okay, and lie you flat. Okay, so there's no scars or asymmetry in the abdomen, no obvious masses. Right, I'm gonna have a little feel. Let me know if there's any if there's any tenderness. We're just palpating in all nine areas. Superficially to begin with, and then we'll go deeper. A bit tender there. How about down there? Not too bad. Mainly here. Okay. Now a bit deeper. That hurts there? Does it hurt when I let go? No. no. Okay, good. Down there? Not too bad. Okay, good. Right. Have a little feeling in your groin as well. Take a big cough for me. <coughs> Good. Okay, there's some right-sided inguinal lymphadenopathy as well. Okay, that's fine, Keith. I'm going to sit you back up now, okay?